Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at an SPI Model 523 telescope from the early 1950s. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter aperture, 800 millimeter focal length telescope. Very unusual because it's uh, got such a long focal ratio, that's f20. So it's uh, really rare, very unusual, and uh, quite uncommon. Uh, you don't see too many of these around, and I think there's a good reason why. I'll discuss that a little bit later. Okay, let's have a look at what's inside the box. The box is, of course, in pretty bad shape, as they always are in this uh, H category. Here we have a lot of parts. There's the main OTA. In here we have couple of eyepieces. This of course is not original. Lots and lots of nuts and bolts and a chain. The chain is kind of unusual. It looks original. I believe it's original. <coughs> but it's a fairly uncommon thing to have a chain on these, these scopes of this era. There's the finder. the mount itself, star diagonal, and the legs. These legs, as a matter of fact, uh, almost everything about this scope is highly reminiscent of Unitron. Very, very similar. Some of the parts are definitely interchangeable. I'm going to compare it with the Unitron 20 millimeter here in a minute. One of the reasons this scope is so rare uh, may have to do with the fact that it just doesn't work very well. Let me demonstrate. Um, you see this? This is your altitude slow motion. It's changing where the scope is aimed with respect to the horizontal. Now, let me loosen this up. This is the way it's supposed to work, at least I think. You're supposed to tighten this down. You have to tighten that down really tight. Now, you can see it's still working, right? It's moving it up and down. But wait. Let me put an eyepiece on and watch what happens. Whoops. The thing just doesn't want to move. You can crank it way down. I've got it cranked down pretty darn tight, about as tight as I can do with my fingers. All right, it's working. <laughs> but it's sure not convenient. You have to have, oh, maybe if you bring your wrench along, you can tighten that down enough so that it works. And then you have to loosen it up and uh, try and... The problem with this thing is, look, you can sense how tight, how tough it is to tighten that down. One of the difficulties with this scope is that it's the long focal ratio, f20, makes this an extremely long telescope and the moment of inertia for that very long telescope is is difficult to overcome, especially you know when it's out here it's just really really challenging. Now it may be you know, the mount may be uh, defective or broken or something. I even put some washers on here to try and uh, ameliorate the problem a little bit, and the lock washer and stuff. But it's just not very good as compared to a, a Unitron of, uh, you know, of about the same era. Of course, now the Unitrons, I believe that Unitrons were virtually identical to this, and that's maybe why those real old ones are so rare also. It's just, uh, it, the mount is inadequate for that very long telescope with the, with the mass on the end. 
Another reason is because of this. Look at this. This is what I call a walk around mount. You've got your, you can lock this down and you've got azimuth slow motion right there. Everything works fine. The problem is your scope is over there. You're over here, so you have to come around on this side and you go over here. It's, uh, it's just a little awkward if you ask me. Especially since this telescope sticks way out here. On this scope, uh, there's a draw tube here and a fine focus here, a very nice arrangement. And the finder here is removable. A couple of screws bolted on. Got this charming little uh, mount for it. I want to show you this scope. This is a uh, Unitron 40mm F700. So it's a focal ratio of 17.5, 40 millimeters. It's almost identical to the SPI telescope. As a matter of fact, the parts here, most of them are interchangeable. Uh, oddly enough, some of them aren't, but most of them are completely interchangeable. You can take this focuser off and put it on. It's the same thing. Everything is the same, except for the objective focal length and some other uh, minor little details. Uh, the finder is very similar. By the way, this is a resto mod, so this is not exactly uh, the authentic way an original would appear. Uh, I'm, work I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a work in progress, shall we say, for many years this has been going on. Anyway, um, I've got a mount for this. So the mount is also not, it's not period correct, uh, but it is a Unitron mount. Uh, and it's much, much nicer. It works exactly the same way. You take these screws off here, put them on here. One interesting difference is that uh, in the case of the Unitron, the hardware is just a step up. These bolts screw into um, not just exactly the tube, it's going into a metal piece inside the tube that's actually attached inside the tube. This, they just screw right into the raw tube. And it works okay, but uh, this is much nicer. A little nicer hardware. You know, just a little bit of an upgrade in almost all respects. Uh, so, the focal ratio here is different. This has a much more robust mount. This mount... Uh, this is one of the, I would say, wimpier kind of a Unitron mount, uh, but it's a later mount than this one. This is probably from uh, maybe the early 60s, maybe even the 70s. Uh, also, by the way, the knobs aren't quite right. There's a lot of things here that aren't exactly quite uh, Unitron. But uh, you can see, I think you can see from there how much better this is. Uh, first of all, it's not a walk around mount. You've got both controls right here. So you've got altitude and azimuth. And when you lock that down, even in a very high altitude, lock that down, this thing is going to have enough push to push it. It's going to be able to, to move that tube. Of course, this is a shorter tube, but uh, even with a slightly longer this thing here is longer, I believe. Anyway, even with that, it's just a bit more robust than this mount. It's a better design. Of course, that's um, maybe 20 or 30 years of evolution between these two mounts. I don't know, something like that. It's a considerable change. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this SPI Model 523. Thank you very much for watching.